Welcome to part 5 of the tutorial. In this stage we will be looking at getting the Blender track ready for exportation. Uh, first things first, the spine, because it's square, uh, it needs modifying. Um, as in add modifier, edge split, and then just press apply. This will now allow the model to actually be a square when it's exported. Otherwise it would smooth the edges and doesn't look very good. Also in this step uh, we will delete the mesh uh, color, the, the texture. Basically every piece of track needs doing the same way. So you add modifier, edge split, apply and then delete. I always like to use the delete after I put the modifier on as this will that allow me to know where I have been where I've deleted up to. Also at this step you could press tab W remove doubles it just clears it up and you can also alt J afterwards. Um, it just makes the sp the spine less poly. And look a bit neater. I mean you don't have to do it, but as you can see, nine nearly a thousand polys. That that's quite a lot. Just due due to the the way it works and you can put alt j on it's up to you um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of those I'll fast forward and then I will uh, put it back on so you can so I'll explain the next bit Make sure you do the remove doubles before you do the edge split, otherwise you'll be removing the edge split effect. Okay, so that's all the spine done. Obviously the rails don't need doing because they're circular. It's the same as circular spines as well. They won't need edge splitting. So what we now can do is start naming parts. So start with the station, ooh, which hasn't been grouped. Oh, it's also not been splined. Sorry about that. Uh, I will just quickly... Oh, a good example. The top is damaged, so we can do Control r Go to the top. Shift-D, scripts, mesh, edge to curve, tab, A. Subdivide, subdivide. Smooth. They're yeah, bizarre, even.
Okay, now that that's been done, uh, this is the station piece. So what I always like to do is name the station one, and because it's a rail, I say R, and then the spine, I like to do one S. That's basically it for this stage. So this would be two R. and this would be 2S. Uh, same principle, I will just go around and name every piece and then I will carry it on. Um, just notice this, the spline for the lift hill hasn't worked, but like we've done before, just delete the bad spline, reload the model, Right, this is, is obviously one of those sections that um, isn't going to work by traditional methods. Um, you could either do the old select every line method, because there, there's not going to be that many on this because it's a lift hill. The, the bulk of the middle bit is straight, isn't it? So you could get away with doing this method, um, or you could go into SketchUp and remodel the whole track section, just so it's a bit clear, cleaner. But I mean, th there's there's not many on this, so I will just do it the old-fashioned method of selecting. every line. Don't forget that you will have micro joins when doing this method. So you have to zoom right in so you can make sure you get it. Otherwise the spline will not work and you'll get errors. Always want to check wherever the joins are yeah so shift D enter scripts mesh edge to curve, tab, A, subdivide, 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 Bezier, W, smooth.
Also, I forgot to mention that when doing the naming of the rails, also do the same like you did with the spine, that you just delete the texture. That's all for part 5. In part 6 I will start naming the splines and how to export into mod XML.
Okay, so that is now all the spine and rails named. I'm going to end this part and the next part will be the naming of the splines and how to export.